guys. Happy Tuesday. Yes, happy Tuesday. So, crazy amazing stuff last night. Wow, I am gaining a lot of weight. I don't like this. I need to go on a diet. Anyway, last night it was so incredible. Ouch. I sat down. I'm, I'm out of it. I sat down on the bed with the piano. Keyboard, piano, whatever. Same thing. And just asked my gin to help me channel something. A piece of music. Something very hauntingly eerie. And it came out. And it was pretty creepy. It reminded me of something that you would hear in the background for some kind of horror movie. So it was pretty neat. I don't play the piano a little bit. The only thing that I can play is the lullaby from Chopin. Uh, yeah, Chopin, I think. From Twilight? I don't know. That Whatever he plays, that's, that's what I can play. This was better. This was really amazing, and wow. I honestly can't believe that happened. So, I might actually have to do a video. I know I've done videos before with the piano, but that was just me playing around, screwing around. But it was very, very interesting, very fun. I, I don't remember. I mean, I remember doing it. I remember, you know, setting up the piano, but it just felt so good. It felt good. It felt amazing to actually just... I don't know. I didn't even... It felt like I didn't even have control over my hands. So it was pretty neat. It's pretty frick freaking neat. Sorry. I'm trying to watch my language for the youngers. So, um, the full moon is coming up. Do you guys want to do kind of, uh, what was that? You guys want to do like a, some kind of ritual? Uh, the firewall of protection, which is, I mean, amazing. It's still working. It's awesome. I, I can't believe that that worked. That's all I can say is, wow. Wow. <laughs> it's crazy. So, I don't know how many days we have left till the full moon. I mean, I know it's more than halfway full. Um, so I don't know. Um, I will look really quick just to see what. Oops. Don't fly away, my little book. All right. Okay, full moon. Oh, it's in Virgo right now. Perfect. That is very awesome. It's in Virgo right now. All right, so it's 89.5% full. So we have two days to the full moon. That's awesome. I love that it's in Virgo. Let's see. No, no thank you. All right. Okay, what's today? April, it's, it's in Virgo until April 17th, so tomorrow morning at 7.21 a.m. So today you are practical, analytical, and health conscious. Yeah, that's me. So, I think it's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. It's waxing gibbous. So. Virgo. I love it. I love it. Alright. So. What? Um, would you guys want to do that? I think it'd be pretty fun. Just, I mean, whatever you guys want to do. Literally. Whatever you guys want to do. Um, I will have my ram's horn for the full moon so I can go outside and I can blow that thing. I will. I'm going to blow it. <laughs> um, yeah, Sabrina. And the Chilling Avengers of Sabrina does rub off on people, especially people with addictive personalities. I just had to have the horn. I just, I want to hear that noise. It's incredible. It's, like, it's just... Ah, it makes me happy and it makes me think of all those orgiastic funness. Anyways, enough of that. Okay, so back to our cards today. The, I don't even know how to pronounce that, what is it, the Lennerman? Lennerman? We have the star. So yesterday we left off with the star. And that one is, it's pretty nice. I like it. I love the love the artwork. So the star, basically the same as a regular tarot. 
Alright, so the star. Traditional meaning of the star. I don't know how many times I can say the star. Alright, so the star <laughs> brings luck in business and success in realizing expectations and wishes. So, you are in a position to trust the stars down from the heavens. However, be careful not to lose the ground underneath your feet. Instead, keep them firmly planted. And that's perfect because we are in Virgo right now. So Virgo is very grounding. Um, Virgo rules the harvest. It's uh, the earth sign. Very earthy. I'm very eccentric, so I don't know if that's like all Virgos, or I don't know if they're all like that. My Virgo queen, are you like that? Are you very eccentric? Like, like you don't feel like you fit in your... Like, I don't feel like I'm 33. Um, and yesterday I realized that in 33 years, I'll be 66 years old. And that scares the hell out of me. 66. Yeah. 66. Alright. So anyway. Uh, yes, so yeah, keep your, your feet firmly planted and be thankful when dreams come true. Alright, so card six, the clouds, means the outlook could be cloudy, uh, obviously. Unclarity could stand in your way. Number 20, or 34, the fish is a sign of prosperity and financial security when combined with the star. Perfect. I mean, that's perfect. I need it. I think everybody needs that. Alright, so modern symbolism of the star. So the symbolism of the star is multifaceted. It is a universal it is universal in nature. And the following is only a small selection of its many symbolic aspects. So alright, in the regular tarot the star is um, illuminating a divinity in nature and within us. So um let's see. So you may find a good dictionary of symbols to be helpful in learning more about the star, what the star means. All cultures and people saw the stars as signs of the gods. So the solar logos, as emblems of cosmic order and beauty, and many myths, stars are the souls of those who have died, who shine their light down on the earth from above to guide the paths of those still alive. I didn't know that, that's pretty neat. That is actually pretty neat. So Jewish myths consider the countless yeah, the countless stars to be guided by angels. Ooh. Oh, I like that quote. Aren't angels supposed to be good? Mortal, have you not read the Bible? They're the ones with the flaming swords. Um, so, the stars in the heavens are also symbols of the future generations of patriarch Abraham. In Christian accounts, stars always stand for heavenly events. The star of Bethlehem, for example, led the wise men from the Orient to the castles. To, yeah, to the castle's cradle, to Christ's cradle. The Druidic five-pointed star, the pentagram, had become a blessed and magic sign for people, the golden ratio, but also a symbol for negative influences. No, it's not. Stars stand for beauty, for the cosmos, and for hope and dreams. But that's very odd. The souls of those that have passed, which is very odd, because I will tell you in a minute. Star charts once served as guides for sailors at sea. Traditionally, people have always been fascinated, fascinated by Venus, also called the morning or evening star by sailors, a goddess to light the paths of our hearts. I'm loving the star. I love it. Love it. So, the stars. I don't know where... If this is where my tattoos are. So the stars. I don't know if that's where it is. Maybe. Maybe it's there. I don't know. Maybe it's that side. I don't know. I don't know what side my tattoos are. I don't know, and you can kind of see through. I don't know my shirt, you can see the stars. So many stars, very different. So that's for my grandma, for my heart. All right, I like this. Yes, people didn't know back then that uh, Venus, uh, that's the same star. The morning star and the evening star were the same, so they had no clue. All right, so. If you see the star shining, how oh, how do I see myself in respect to this card? Where is my guiding and where is my guiding star? I like that, That's sweet. That reminds me of my grandma, and it's sad. Um, am I not able to see the sky because there are so many stars? Are my expectations realistic, or am I holding on too many illusions in my life? What are my future goals and dreams? What are yours? Um, and what, yeah, blah, that was the end of those. So, quote on the card. 
If the star card, oh, if the star comes alone, you will be happy. If it's breaking through the clouds, your worries become your shroud. Ooh, that's not good. That can't be good. So, tip: every person is a star. Each has their own special beauty and truth. So, what is your truth? Clarity: what your dreams are. No, clarify what your dreams are, and take active steps so that you are able to realize them. Hm. Like that. All right, now love. So, love is when two stars find one another. One, and yeah, one another. Each person shines on his or her own, and together they, they, they light up the night. Compromise is always necessary, even in a relationship. That's why I don't get into relationships. I don't compromise. I don't play well with others. But stay true to yourself. Don't hide it under a bush. A burning bush? Happiness. Proceed with confidence. Never fear. The stars will show you the way. All right, now for success. Follow your guiding star. Don't be unsettled by clouds moving in. Your star is bright enough to shine through. I like that. Very nice. Oh, it is so nice today, you guys. It's like 70 degrees. It's amazing. All right, 17, then we have the stork. I do, I love the star. So, 17, the stork. This reminds me of Three's Company when who is it when who takes place of Chrissy Terry not Donna Summers but Terry I don't know her real name she in the beginning when she is standing there like a stork or a peacock or no a flamingo kind of reminds me of that so she mimics <laughs> the flamingo so there's the stork all right, 17, the stork, traditional meanings. Ooh, this would be a very good card if this was, if I was actually reading. So a move or a new job is on the way, or possibly both. Ooh, LA, here I come. If one is a necessity of the other. Oh, no way, or possibly, possibly both. If one is a necessity of the other. Okay, I get that now. I hope you guys do too. <laughs> the stork also brings babies. So prepare yourself for a family to grow. If a spoon falls, baby calls. Um, this should also explain the need for change in the other areas of your life, such as location or work. It may be that the change could merely be a renovation of your apartment or your office. I need to do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'd be nice. All right, modern symbolism. All right, so within a Christian context, the stork is a reference to Christ. Is it really? Okay, who has the stork who eats the snake? Okay, get it. Just as Christ sees his power destroyed the devil, because he, the stork migrates to the south in winter and returns in the spring, it is also associated with wanderlust and the need to travel. So the stork's habitual return in early spring in northern lands means it's a sign of life, birth, and resurrection. It's perfect. I do like that now. It's a little better. For this reason, it also has taken one of the roles, oh, on the role of bringing children. Usually the white stork appears in this context, carrying the child in a cloth. <laughs> the concept of water, uh, yeah, water bringing new life is what lies beyond this notion. So the stork card, therefore, signifies a wish for children or for family. So, um, during antiqu antiquity, the stork was considered to be a symbol of fertility and child childly love. One Greek myth explains, for example, how a stork nurses his elderly father back to health in his old age. In prophecy, ooh, in prophecy, the stork is a symbol of a long life and prosperity. I like that. If a stork built a nest on top of a chimney, this meant a homeowner would live long and prosper. Additionally, people believe that storks protected against the lightning and, and fire. Huh. If discord or conflict was a problem in the household, this would drive the stork away. No wonder there's no storks around my house. There never will be. They're probably like thousands of miles away saying, uh-uh, fuck that. So if the stork is on the way, how do I see myself in respect to this card? Um, am I ready for inward or outward change? What does family mean to me? Do I want children? Oh god, I don't know. What do my long-term prospects look like? 
I know, the quote on the card. The stork has something to say. Don't stay here long today. Whether north or south, south, it's best to be on your way. Ooh. So tip. Change has the power to enrich your life, even if you are afraid of it or if it causes temporary unrest or stress. More? More stress? Wow, that's not enough. Uh, having patience during these phases, just like the stork patiently waits for the fish to appear. Mm, I don't know. I don't like. To, I have no patience these days. So for love, you have a, you have a, you have to kiss a lot of frogs before you find your prince. I would rather kiss a frog. Presumably, you're about to find him. Now things can become very turbulent, so try and take things slowly. In already existing relationships, the stork has an invigorating effect. Huh. Try and win one another exactly as you did when everything started. Yeah, I, I, I'm just not into relationships or marriage or anything right now. I think marriage as an institution made more sense when we all lived to be about 40. That means I am being, I would be close, yeah, I'd be married and close to death already, which would be great. Alright, happiness. Who knows what the stork is good for? I don't. Nothing. Spring is getting near. Yeah, it is. As well as your chance to make a new beginning. Make... Oh, May makes everything new. Oh. So it's referring to next month. Which, new Lucifer. Uh, new everything. I think. Just new Lucifer. Alright, so... Success. The stork is a very positive sign if you are ready to change and grow. Allow something new to occur to you. Noise belongs to construction work. That didn't make much sense. Oh, we have the dog. I love dogs. I love the dog. Alright, so number 18, we have the dog. Oh, and his little house. What kind of dog is that? Is that an afghan? looks like an afghan there it, it shows better like back here what do I have to put it on my forehead is it there we go what kind of dog is that guys an afghan it, it's cute Aww. all right the dog so traditional meaning of the dog so the dog is a symbol of loyalty friendship security and protection within your circle of friends or it represents the characteristics of one of your friends. I love, I love that. True. When negative cards are nearby and the card is separated from the significator card, this means the opposite. Disloyalty. Always pay attention to those who say they are your friends and treasure those who are trustworthy and dependable. I have learned that the hard way. A wrong impression can get you into a dangerous or difficult situation a lot faster than you would like. Number seven, the snake. Number six, the clouds. Or number ten, the skip. Sith. Means that there is danger you will be betrayed. There is a danger that you will be betrayed. And yeah, that sucks. Alright, so. <clears throat> Modern symbolism. So it's said that the dog is man's best friend. Very true. Very true. Alright, so like, the, like his ancestor, the wolf, the dog has an ambulant symbolic meaning. Because it's a high, oh, of its highly developed sense of smell and hearing, dogs always know when other people, animals, and things are near us before we do that it's funny because my dog before my father gets home will lay at the door probably about for about 20 minutes or me and he knows he does so people often put these instincts to good use for example dogs are used in search and rescue especially to find missing people or to have someone buried under an avalanche wow Dogs are ideal guides and are adept at protecting humans from danger. However, the dog can be can also be uh, interpreted as symbolizing the loss of instincts, um, and as they have become domesticated or no longer able to survive in their natural surroundings, unlike the wolf. Oh no, I, I just see so much good in dogs. So the dog is perhaps the oldest and most trusted companion known to humankind, mankind. For example, in Greek mythology, there is Zerberus, the Hound of Hell. That was actually in Sabrina last night, season two. So, I'm finding a lot of truths in that, in Sabrina. 
lots of actual ritual, which is kind of scary. So, who served as a guide for souls making their way from the world to the living to the dead? The dog-headed Egyptian god Anubis also comes into mind in ancient symbolism. At the same time, the dog can represent evil now, and despicable characteristics. So, this goes especially for black dogs, who often accompany witches, wizards, and demons. Quote, you dirty dog, is a universal insult. Huh. Wow. So, his proverbial loyalty has made the dog an emblem of fidelity and vigilance. In modern dream inter interpretations, the dog stands for becoming more aware of our animal instincts. Kundalini, that reminds me of Kundalini. Don't like it. When one is a friend, a friend. Different. How do I see myself in respect to this card? What role do friends play in my life? Do I have enough real friends? Are my friends able to tell me the whole truth about myself? Even when this may be hurtful, who cares? As long as you're comfortable with yourself. Am I a good friend myself? What do loyalty and disloyalty mean to me? Alright, now, quote on the card. Uh, when the dog is nearby, this means your friend is true. But if he's far away, your friendship may be through. My dog's always nearby. Always. Love it. I do. Do I have mascara on? Yeah, I do. Okay. Alright, tip. There will always be friends in need goes the old saying, be careful and choosy when it comes to friendships. Hold on to real friendships and above all, be a true friend and an honest friend. Well, I'm very honest to the point of uh, vomiting the truth. So love. One thing that counts first and foremost in love, openness and honesty. <laughs> a partner who says yes to everyone and everything can hardly be loyal to you. Hmm. Yep. Love and friendship also needs conflict, as long as it's constructive. Ooh. Happiness. You know exactly what your own personal happiness means to you. Who else will be able to find out what makes you happy? Trust your nose. You're on the right track. Alright. So, success. The current situation calls for sniffing and s sniffing something out. In this particular case, it means finding out where the difficulty lies. Or to quote Goeth, to discover the dog's true nature, the heart of the problem. You never know when a good friend will prop you up when you need it. I am very lucky to have the friends that I do. Very lucky. And to have gotten rid of the, the old. Very happy to have gotten rid of the old. Poof, gone, goodbye. <laughs> Great. Alright. Oh, and we have the tower, card 19. So I'm figuring this is just like the one from the tarot card. Maybe. So there's the tower. Very nice, very nice card. I like this. But it's not focusing. There we go. I'm done dancing. Alright, the tower, number 19. So, traditional meaning of the tower. When it appears near near the significator card, the tower can mean the tower card means that you will have a long life. Huh. But when it appears with the negative cards, the meaning is the opposite. Ooh. That's like smoke. Okay, so the tower is also a sign that the person in question has a strong and pronounced will, um, and who has high expectations in life, which he or she will be ch will be determined to realize. So this kind of eager zeal and ambition can also lead to loneliness. <laughs> uh, where'd I go? It's good to be aware that maintaining too hectic of a pace can s come at the cost of your health. I experienced that last year with the whole Kratom crap. So, that was very scary. Number six. So, the clouds mean an unexpected illness could be on its way. While number five, the tree, means to pay special attention to your health. Number 24, the heart, is a reminder not to let your relationship become too 
constraining. Hmm. Interesting. Very. Alright. Modern symbolism. So, the church tower, uh, the lighthouse, ivory tower, the prison tower, the tower of shame, uh, the debater's tower or debitor's tower prison, the tower of Babel, the essence of the word often comes with negative associations that puts some people on guard. So, yeah, true. There's a link between heaven and earth and a symbol of godly splendor. Towers traditionally compromise a part of the houses of worship in almost every religion. That brings up quite a few interesting uh, opinions that I have. How can people be so fucking cruel as to laugh at the Notre Dame, Notre Dame Cathedral that burnt all the art, uh, the thousands and thousands of years of art, and people think the old gods are pissed? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think it's pretty shitty, and it shows people's true colors, uh, how they laugh and just mock how uh, that cathedral is burning right now. So, that just shows uh, the depth of those individuals, which is not very deep. It's probably about a centimeter deep. Sad. Very sad. So, very shallow people. Lighthouses serve as guides for sailors at sea. Traditionally symbol symbolize a jerk. Yeah. Traditionally symbolize a good journey and a safe return. Watchtowers once re reassured those nearby that they were safe and protected and enemies could be spotted from far away so that people could not be caught unaware before an attack. Um, other associations that this symbol calls to mind um, are the ivory tower, the debtor's prison, or being locked away in a tower. Imprisonment, bondage, and isolation are feelings that can be released by this card. Hmm. Okay, I need that. Alright, so, in modern dream analysis, the tower can be a phallic symbol. Ooh. Did I buy a penis candle? I swear I did. Maybe I dreamt it. I don't know, but I need to. I don't know why, but I just want one. Alright, so, the tower key, yeah, okay, whatever. But also a place where perspective can be gained. Traditionally, it has served as a symbol of power. So towers are associated with the pursuit of prestige. And in a figurative sense, represent a person being able to realize their extraordinary capabilities. Dreaming of imprisonment in a tower is usually interpreted as feeling repressed sexually <laughs> and can be assigned to the dreamer that there are unresolved feelings about physical intimacy that they need to deal with. Hmm, okay. Whatever. Alright. If you stand over and above things, you can see more. Hmm. True. How do I see myself in respect to this card? Am I adequately prepared for unseen events? If not, how am I? How can I prepare myself? With or what could give me some perspective over the current situation? And is it possible? It's possible consequences. All right. Am I open to new things, or am I most likely to retreat into my own tower? I like my own tower where nobody bothers me. Like a hermit. Quote on the card, the tower is trying to say that you will live for many for many days, but if clouds are hovering near, there is a reason to fear. Jesus. That's exactly what I need. <laughs> a warning of imminent, imminent death. No, I'm joking. So, tip. You are the watcher over your own life. Only he who knows what is coming. <laughs> oh my god, I am ridiculous. Only he who knows what is coming can act accordingly. If you act with foresight, yeah, foresight, you will be able to prevent some life, some of life's most troubling situations. Ooh, I like that. Love. The outlook for love is good. Okay. See the tower as a signal that your wishes are reality. Uh, oh, and reality are not far from apart. Far apart from one another. What do you want, and how will you get it? I, myself, stand in the corner. No, I don't. Always straight, stay true to yourself. You are one of a kind. 
special person exactly the way you are. <laughs> Oops. Anyways, no, I don't stand on corners. That's ridiculous. That was a long time ago. All right. Happiness. He who waits for happiness will never be sure of where his next meal is coming from. Act so that you are ready when happiness knocks. Clarify what your long-term goals are and get started on the path to fulfillment. Get on it. Alright, uh, success. Ultimately, there is only one kind of person you can build a tower on. Someone who you trust absolutely and completely. Acquire the necessary information and you will always, oh, and you will have the perspective you need. Once you have it, don't hesitate to do what you need to do. Alright, so number 20 is the garden. Ooh, gorgeous little garden there. Beautiful. I like that. Let's see how it focuses. So it should focus. I maybe. There, it focused a little better. I don't know. There, it's focused. 20, the tower. Or the garden. Blah. <coughs> okay, the traditional meaning of the card. So, this card announces the arrival of pleasant company. That would be nice. In the negative sense, it is warning to look out for false friends and flatterers. Ugh. Uh, the garden stands for multifaceted creativity. Ultimately, it signifies friendship that will last for a lifetime, my Virgo queen. And could mean that you now have the opportunity to gain access to an influential and wealthy social circle. No. Number three, the ship, or 31 the sun, means that you may have the chance to take a restorative trip by sea or on the coast. So number 27, the letter, means an invitation to a social event may be headed your way. Hmm. That's interesting, too. All right, modern symbolism. So, the garden is a pra predominantly positive card in the idea of the garden, the development from the in instinctual wild ways of the forest to the civilization and cultivation of humanity can be traced. So, the double meaning of self-cultivation and the cultivation of the environment um, is what is understood here. It refers to artificial nature versus natural art. So, okay. A garden is a place of peace and a fenced-in space of safety. The garden can be separated from the wild, here inner peace, which is endangered by the outside world, um, can also flourish. The garden is thus reminiscent of the lost garden of Eden, <coughs> and can be seen as a reminder of paradise in Christian iconography. iconography whatever. Paradise is uh, then a metaphor for the condition of being free of desire and fear. So in gar garden architecture, the garden is an emblem of being able to cultivate the ideal life. Hmm. It's interesting. So the art of gardening has flourished since ancient times in countries such, such as China and Japan. So where the world is artificially staged and perfected as a form of art. Thus, art goes so far as to surpass nature. Within this philosophy, the garden symbolizes the wholeness of the world and the cosmos, embodied by the principles of yin and yang. Very similar to the cosmic tarot, with these, um, the yin and the yang, the symbolism. So the, the cosmic tarot has taken, you know, into consideration um, all the Hindu deities, um, lots of, lots of Christian uh, iconography, whatever, however you fucking say that word. So... Alright, so according to the modern dream analysis, the garden is a place of consciousness and development. From a modern perspective, the garden can sometimes have negative associations, where superficiality, narrow-mindedness, and prejudice are represented. I hate that. That is ridiculous. Every garden is a small piece of paradise. Uh, yeah, depending on what you got to grow in your garden, true. Can't wait. How do I see myself in respect to this card? Oh, God. In leather pants. Tilling the garden and weeding it. Yeah, I do that. They, yeah, I already said, you know, you can't do that in leather, in leather pants. 
Sure can. Did it. Done. Alright, so... Mm, do I have enough opportunities to retreat during the day, outwardly and inwardly, in order to recover from a daily grind? Hell no, I don't. Where? What is my idea of paradise? Sleep. Huh. Am I able to live completely in the moment? Probably. Maybe. I don't know. If not, what is preventing me from doing so? People. What can I do to cultivate myself? I fucking don't know. So. Sorry, guys. I know. It just... It flows out of my mouth. I'm sorry. So, quote on the card. You will soon see a man. Ooh. This is the garden's plan. And other things, for sure. Happiness is also in store. Okay. Where is he? Alright, tip. Enjoy all of the positive thoughts that are con connected with this card. Use your strengths, strength to charge your batteries. Create a small... Oh, create a quiet... A quiet place. Quiet. Create a quiet... No, that quiet place... What, what, what the hell? Create a quiet place of retreat for yourself, outwardly and inwardly. Alright, so love. <laughs> so, quote, it is what it is, unquote, says love. Ideally, and all fear and longing disappears when it comes to this area of your life. Love is simply is. Enjoy the moments when you get a glimpse into the pieces, oh, into this piece of paradise. I wouldn't call love paradise, but... Mm -hmm. Happiness. Which criteria need to be fulfilled so that you can view your life as truly happy? The garden card can be read as a sign to sow the seeds of happiness and weed out the things in your life that are causing you to be unhappy. Do this now so that you will not be able uh, so that you will be able to reap a happy harvest. I like that. That would be nice. So, success. Okay, approach people, customers, the public, target groups, and be sociable and friendly. Use your social sh social skills to build healthy personal and business relationships. All right. So tomorrow we will go with 21 the mountain. Which will be good. I really got to get these cards down so I can start doing readings with them. I mean, it's good. Love them. But I'm still confused just a bit. Alright. So. Let's get some coffee talk. Chapped lips suck. My ram's horn. I really want my ram's horn today. Okay, let's find this. Okay. Hey guys. How are you all? Okay. Where did I go? There we go. Okay. Jade. Hello, how are you? Okay, hello my dear, how have you been? Sorry for my absence. Um, I'm alive. You're fine, my darling. Um, I was yesterday in a bus and I was wearing some kind of bl a blouse with like little holes in it. Oh, kind of like this. Holes everywhere. Everything gets stuck. Um, then some guy wanted to get out of the bus and the zipper of his bag got caught in my blouse. He just couldn't take the zipper out in time, and he missed the station. <laughs> Aw, that guy was so pissed, and I was dying of laughter. <laughs> That's funny. Also, later that day, my contact lens got stuck behind my left eye, but I took it out after, like, an hour. I hate that. I hate that. Wow. So, anyways, today I'm going to purify my gemstones and probably try the Ouija board again. I used the board a few days ago, but it didn't move. Meditate, 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 meditate. It takes a long, well, depending on your intentions, on everything that you're, you know, putting out there. Um, 
ask your guides to, uh, whoever you're trying to talk to, ask them to speed it up. Try that. So, um, okay, this time I will meditate before using it. Good. And also have my purified stones ready. I hope it will go well. Just remember, always have it in the back of your head that you will always have the best Ouija session ever. Always. You have to know that. So you look great, like always, and your eyeliner is so well done. I love you so much, my darling. I love you, too. With all my heart. All my heart. Alright. Ooh, Lily Moon. Okay, so we have some ideas for unblocking the third eye. So, okay. What <clears throat> what I found to detoxify your third eye is fluoride-free toothpaste and a water filter because fluoride is your is in your water and here is a list of vitamins to help to calcify it. It activated charcoal, uh, selenum, selenum, mugwort. It can also give you lucid dreams, oregano oil, iodine oil. Ooh. Ashwanga, Ashwanda, the tamarind, spirline, or corella, turmeric powder, um, oh wow, what is that? Harticle powder? So these last two are the most important. You should get those two first and cut out all fluoride much as possible. Love you. Hope that helps. That does. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Nah, Netheria Fade. I might just have to get myself a Lennerman deck. I hope your dog gets better fast. He will. He will. Thank you. I don't know. understand what he's gruffing about. Cabaret. Oh, I see Ruby Slippers. Hello, how are you? Hi, I love your Santissimo Muerte videos. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, so much info. I'm actually sitting with pen and paper taking notes. Good. Thank you. Finally, somebody listens. No, I'm joking. Everybody's good. Thanks so much. You really should write a book about her. And uh, no. Um, I don't have the time yet. I have a children's book to write first. Okay, um, May Queen. No problem waiting. They're coming. The books are on their way. On their way. Uh, twenty six through the twenty seventh is when the books will be here. Okay. Chocolate Sunday. Hi. Hi, my love. Hey, you. Oh, I love you. This is a great video. I like to keep a quartz crystal in the pouch with them. Oh. Oh, I didn't think about that. Thank you for taking the time to do it. Love you. I love you, T Sugar Plum. Oh, Sugar Plum. We love you so much. Sorry your day wasn't a good one. Yeah, today feels better, especially since it's in Virgo. Um, and it better go my way, or I'm gonna be pissed. Just joking. Alright, so. That's very. I love it. Thank you. Thank you, my darling. I miss you. And even though we just talked like two seconds ago. Alright, uh, which of the Black Rose? Hi. How are you? Uh, yep. We have a plethora of spear animals here as well. Aww. Crows, bats, snakes, squirrels, hedgehogs. Oh my god, I want a hedgehog. Rabbits, deer, etc. And I'm only four blocks from downtown. We put out a bowl of crane mixed with peanut butter daily and they love it. Ooh. I should do that. I should really do that for my animals that just like to... Totally, I mean, all of them just... Love the trees. The pine trees. I don't know why. Alright, um, Dr. Stoner. Hi. Hello. How are you? You're so cute. Oh, I love you. Love you. I love you too. Uh, love this deck also. Oh my god, I love your little... All the little emojis. They're so cute. Thank you. Okay, Annalisa. I was so surprised at learning the, uh, the Normand. They are so direct. No bullshit readings. No, they're not. They are, like, dead on. And that's what kind of creeps me out. I'm like, mm, do I really want to do that? Alright. Okay. Who else? Oh, May Queen, shout out. Jody Sim, shout out. Kelly Snow, shout out. Who the hell are you? Lee Shepard? Okay, I'm not gonna entertain your comment. Erica Stone, hello, how are you? Satisfy, hi. 
How are you, my darling? Any news on Rebecca? I hope Madame Sophia. I love you. I miss you. Very much. DJ Scar17 Willows. Hi, my love. How are you? How are you? Oh, I'm a jade. I've been kind of blue. Hello. Hmm. I'm Lori Archer. Your friends from Einstein Brothers. I, what, what the fuck is the Einstein Brothers? Are having a meeting and we agree that you shouldn't have upset, gotten upset at Zozo. Yeah. And my ass sucks buttermilk. Really? I, I need to find out what this is. Oh shit. Why can't I just. F okay, I'm. Einstein Brothers? Yeah, whatever. Alright, Melody, oh. um, my queen of negativity. Colorful Ninja. Um, Auburn Luna. I so appreciate your honesty. Love your channel. Thank you. I, I vomit the truth. I'm sorry. If it can get bad. Genzak, hi. I love you. Four Eyes, 29. Hello. How are you? I'm a Lily Moon, Jade, Satisfy, Spooky Peyton, Morgana, hi, how are you, Queenie Todd, Ruth Basque, Queenie Todd, I love that you got called androgynous, um, I did too, and that is the most amazing thing ever, ever, alright, Jasper Quinzel, hi, hi my hubby, Alernator, Hi. Uh, Marcel Jones. Hello. Um, Bitter Almonds. Hi. How are you? I hope you're well. Carl Pope. Hello. Huh. Where'd I go? Sheila Nagel. Hi, darling. Hand of Grace. Hello. Jesse Luna Star. Ragon Rock Star. Maria Renteria. Hi, darling. <laughs> Honey, I'm dead inside gaming. Wow. John Hirsch, hello. Who are you? Which of the Black Rose? Unreal Human, hello. Jessica Andrews, hi darling. How are you? Uh, Diana Silva, hello. How are you? Time Temple. Uh, Stand a Magic Man, how are you? How are you? This and that, hello. Shout out. Rag and Rock Star. Um, Marjorie, how are you, darling? Henry Okafer, hello. Hello, hello. Okay, um, now I got to find Einstein Brothers. So I think that's really ridiculous. I don't have any idea. Let's see, um, Einstein. Einstein Brothers Bagels? Is it really? Is that what, what you're, you're... What the fuck does a bagel have to do with a Ouija board? A bagel? Really? Einstein? I'm just gonna see what goes on. Ew. Okay, we have an Einstein Brothers Bagel here. Hmm. Um, yeah, bagels. Huh. Yeah. Bagels. Hmm. That's ridiculous. That's seriously ridiculous. Don't waste my time. Alright, guys. Bagels. I hate bagels. They're disgusting. Most of the Einstein Brothers bagel shops have gone out of business. Alright guys, so let me know what you guys think below about, um, ouch, the full moon, uh, ritual with just, you know, whatever we, you guys want to do. Um, yeah, just whatever you guys want to do. Books are coming. Let me check one more time for you guys. No, oh, Siri, I don't want you to open up. Let me check my um, Amazon real quick and see. There we go, there it is. Alright. Let me check my orders. So the books. 
Okay, let me see. Alright, the books will be here. Damn it, my horn is not here. Okay, the books are going to be here for you guys between April 23rd and April 25th. So, that's when you can expect the books. So, now I have to... Get ready and take the dog to the bed. So, I love you all. Thank you guys for all the comments. It's incredible. Um, I love you all very much with all my heart. All the way from Venus. <laughs> all the way back down. And I will see you all tomorrow for Witchy Wednesday. So, alright guys, I love you all. And thank you guys for watching. And let me know what you think below. So, alright guys, I'll see you tomorrow.